Blazing Cavern for today. It's a pretty easy Risk 8, but a rather tough Risk 15. Let's start off with Risk 8. We'll take the challenge of the day, which is DP down. We'll buff all of Pompey's tags so that we can lick him and get all this free risk. And then we'll also use the redeployment time. I realized that in every single Risk 8 guide thus far for this CC, I've always been leaking some form of enemies. Somehow that's the case. Take a Mountain doesn't need Mastery 3. You can take a Mountain at skill rank 7, meaning to say you can borrow from a non-friend. So even an E1 Mountain, no need E2, will work in this stage. So that's the good news for today's daily map. Then bring a Courier along with his scavenger. So these are Pioneer Vanguards. You can replace with stronger ones like a Texas, Zima, maybe Siege or Saga. But do make sure that they are at least skill rank 7. If not, their skill timing will not be able to counter this tag. You basically need Pioneer Vanguards to help you deploy Mountain, Cruise and uh, Perfumer. So Cruise is a Marksman Sniper. You can bring other Marksman Sniper and preferably ones with offensive recovery skills. And then bring a multi-target medic. Very simple, bring whatever operators you want to help you in the stage. Start off by placing a Pioneer Vanguard here. Whenever the Pioneer Vanguard skill is ready, just burst it. Right, turn it on, place another Pioneer Vanguard here. Retreat this Pioneer Vanguard, switch it for a Mountain. Turn on Mountain skill. So wait for this Pioneer Vanguard skill to be ready as well. Turn it on. Place a cruise right over here. Once this Pioneer Vanguard is done, you can retreat, switch it for a multi-target medic. That's it. That's the entire stage. Feel free to turn on your multi-target medic skill if your operators are struggling to stay alive. You can retreat Mountain. You can retreat everyone. If you want. If not, you're done. <laughs> the main point of today's stage is that everybody has low defense, which is why a sniper and a simple Mountain is able to handle the stage. Alright, let's go to Max Risk. Now, Max Risk is where it gets really, really tough thanks to the freaking Attack Down tag. Nobody likes Attack Down. And there's even this one that says Sniper and Guards having increased cost. There's also increased defense as well. So all of these are not fun. Now, I am still going to take a Mountain, but I do need a lot of DP to deploy everyone. So Myrtle and Elysium's coming in along with a Backpipe as well. Then there will be a Silver Ash to assist me, even though there's the double, no, sorry, there's triple cost. I will find a way to deploy him later on. And then there's also going to be a horn. So we're going to use physical damage to concentrate that against uh, Pompey later. And then there's a Nightingale. There's going to be a Suzerain to help me to buff uh, the operators later on. Then I'm using casters on the right side of the map. So there's going to be a Aya Fiela and a Mostima. So Mostima is going to increase the SP regen of Aya so that her skill pops up much faster and I can target all of those Ur gates that's running into the box. And then I'm also going to borrow a Premonix from my friend because Premonix is able to lower the defense of Pompey so that I can burst him down later on. Let's see how I do it. Okay, I'm starting off with Vanguards. So thanks to Backpipe skill, the Vanguards can pop up much faster. So I've got Elysium there along with a Myrtle. And then I'm placing backpipe right over here. Okay, when there are two wolves onto backpipe, I'll turn on her skill. I'm placing Aya right here. Turn on my Vanguard skill whenever ready. Then I'm gonna have a Nightingale. I can retreat. 
bagpipe and switch it for a mountain. Turn on mountain skill. So mountain is so darn impressive because even with the attack down, he's able to handle his own lane. It's gonna be a Mostima right over here. Again, turn on my Vanguards. And then Prem's gonna sit here along with a Suzerain. Okay, to lower the healing pressure that's going on at the moment, I can just place a cage so that Nightingale isn't too stressed out. Right, there's gonna be a horn sitting over here. I can turn on Mostima's skill to help me in the stage. So this will slow down the Ur Gates and attack them with a decent amount of damage. Yeah, retreat Myrtle so that I can deploy my Silver Ash right over here. I'm also going to retreat uh, Elysium and Mountain. Okay, so we're going to burst all the skills that we have onto Pompeii as you see over there. So let me just slow down the stage. Let me just do this nicely. Let's turn on everybody as you see. And then there's also going to be a backpipe to assist. I'm going to turn on Nightingale skill because the explosion damage is really huge. But just like that. That's how I handle today's stage. So it's either you burst Pompey down with physical damage or you burst him down with arts damage. And today's daily map, if you really want to get max risk, really emphasizes the use of debuffers and buffers. So if you've never gotten them built in the account, it will be a pretty challenging map to do. Alright, that's that for today's stage. I shall see you guys in week 2 of CC9. Bye bye.